Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my updated eyebrow routine because the other night I was looking through some of my old videos and I came across my like last eyebrow routine and I was like, holy hell, what's that on your face? Like, they were so dark and so drawn in and just, they were creepy. They did not look good at all. But I don't think anybody ever told me they didn't look good. And I thought they looked good back then, and that wasn't even a year ago, so that's kind of sad, right? Right. Shows how much time, like, how little amount of time can change, like, your whole makeup. But hey, it's makeup. You put it on, you wash it off, you're ready to go for tomorrow. So, the products I'm going to be using are all Anastasia products. I am in love with her brow products. I haven't had a chance to try her, like, um, eyeshadows yet, but from what I hear, they're amazing, just as amazing as her eyebrow products. So that's going to be my next venture out. Um, I do have a lot of Anastasia products. If you guys would like to see a video kind of on my favorite brow products, let me know and I'll definitely do that for you. Um, but today I use the Brow Wiz Pencil and Brunette and the Brow Duos and Medium Brown and Dark Brown. I used a few of the different colors in there. And I also use the Tweezer Man Brow Mousse as just kind of a setting gel, which is another one of my favorite products because when you use it, like, you, if you don't like feeling crunchy eyebrows, then you're not going to like it. But, like, you can, my eyebrows are not going anywhere all night long. So, that's what I like about it. So, if you guys want to stay tuned and see how I do my eyebrows now that they don't look crazy like they did in my last video then just stay tuned and I'll see you guys in my next one thanks so much for watching bye all right so to get started I like to use the Anastasia Brow Wiz pencil and brunette to just kind of fill out the tail and kind of line underneath starting off I just like to brush through them make sure all the little stragglers that are sticking up are not sticking up and I don't like to kind of wax mine down I don't like the way it feels so I never do that but I'm going to start off by taking the brow pencil and brunette and just kind of filling in the arch here. And I start a little bit before the arch, but not all the way at the front of the brow. I'm going in just little strokes. Then when I get to my tail, I just like to pull it down a little bit past where it naturally ends. Once I have that much filled in, I like to take my brow pencil and underline just the bottom of my brow. I don't do it on the top, just the bottom, the whole brow. And then brush through them. And you want to always be brushing through them to give them the most natural look. So I'm going to go ahead and fill in this side, again starting at the arch, and then filling underneath. The one thing I can't stress the most to you guys, and if you watch any brow video you're going to hear something along the same lines, your brows are not twins, they're sisters, they're cousins, whatever you like best, I like the sisters, well they're not twins so they're never going to look identical to each other, or they shouldn't. Next I'm just going to, after I get done spooling them out, I'm going to go in with, this is the Anastasia um, Brow Duo in Dark Brown. I'm going to be taking the darkest shade and the Anastasia 12 brush. And starting not at the front, but kind of in the middle between the tail and the front. Just filling this in and then going out, the ta out down the tail. Makes sense. So just kind of the same placement that you had already put the brow pencil. 
Then going in with the lighter shade, we're going to start to feel, feel, fill in the front. I like to turn my brush for this because I do like this kind of squared off eyebrows. And just go back and spoolie through them again. Taking the dark shade on this eyebrow, it's just a little sparse here, so I'm just going to go kind of around there. And if you need to go in with a lighter color, I have almost all the shades in these brow duos just for my freelance kit, but. The three shades that I use on myself are the medium brown, the dark brown, and the chocolate, depending on how I'm feeling that day, how serious I want my eyebrows to look. Once I get done filling them in how I want them, I just kind of want more of like a natural brow today. I just spoolie through them again. I don't like to carve out my eyebrows, but I do like to add a little bit of definition underneath my brow, not on top. So I'll just take a light concealer. This is the Dine Air Corrective Concealer in Light Beige. Just kind of get a little bit on there. You don't need too much and run it right underneath that brow. And then I do like to do it at the tail on the opposite side, but not the whole brow. And then blend that out. Just kind of gives it more of a clean look. And if you do this before you do your eye makeup, you have a brow highlight. Don't even have to worry about adding color. Just blend everything out. You can use a brush, I just use my hand. Whoops. So once you're done with your powders, you're you know cleaning up and brushing through. I like to take this is probably my favorite brow setting at the moment. I do have the Benefit Gimme Brow, but I only like to use that if I'm not filling in my eyebrows. When I'm filling in my eyebrows, I like to use this is the Tweezer Man Brow Mousse. And it definitely sets your eyebrows and they'll stay all day. The only thing is I do find this product a little runny so I like to kind of clean the sides of my brush up. And just brush through them. Just like so. And when this dries, your eyebrows are not going anywhere. So that is my updated eyebrow tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.